I'm pretty sure the way a crystal sync screen works, uh, aka a quartz screen, is really simple. Uh, back in the day, they would relegate light through different frequencies of crystals to uh, sort of focus it. Well, the same point applies here to a screen. What you would do is uh, you would have, you know, just clear quartz. And then uh, you'd have like layers of it, so you'd have like the initial layer that will be the final pixel layer of quartz, you know, arranged in pixel form, cut or, you know, grown that way uh, in a uniform mesh work for the screen, whatever's easier. And then uh, behind it you have crystals that split light so that you get like colors, you know, in good quality out of it. And behind that so you could have, I don't know how many layers you'd need here and what arrangement particularly, but I have the base concept down. Behind that, you have like LEDs or laser light or whatever that's diffracted into the initial crystals. So then it splits light as much as is needed. And um, the methodology is just that you don't need anything mechanical. It just uh, fires lasers at different directions from diodes all behind it. So then it can split the light through the crystals and finally into like a softer matted version for the the crystals up front you might have to do multiple switchbacks but this is the easiest way to do it because you're just simply turning on and off lasers through crystal which you could have be colored if you have it in the back you could have ruby sapphire for red and blue emerald for green and you could just have it uh, be arranged in a way that it's firing in different ways i don't know what produces the highest pixel definition for the lowest price i'm sure that can be figured out later but uh... that's the idea and remember if you uh... fuck me and pay me you receive twice the pleasure then uh, 2016 I was talking about this and I, I'm going to bring it up again now on camera. Um, crystal sync screens where the light gates physically open more with the sound data and the um, laser data hitting the crystals making them vibrate to express the sound and light as one this is what the camera you're recording on does right out at the audience. Yeah. So it's always sync, the sound and the video, right at the... Viewer. Crystal sync, like I was saying. Yeah. Crystal sync screens. Yeah. It's already synced with light, but you said, yeah, with the vibration of the speakers placed right even, the crystals automatically pass the frequency yeah. beyond, through them. And you can, uh, like, the way I already was talking about a screen... Or you could do it day. electrically as well yeah, at the same time. you could. Time. You could do plasma arcing. But everybody likes the simplicity of lasers. Yeah, I just meant like a magnetic strip behind the crystals that places the electric magnetism into them with the sound, so it's a little better yeah. than speakers vibrating through them. But you could also have those. Yeah, you're right. Like, like they're kind of subwoofery, yeah. But yeah, I was just saying for the light data, um, for one, for the cheaper type of screens, you just have, like you were saying, little lasers that refract through angled crystals. Yeah. Uh, whatever ones need to activate to refract through the color to or through the crystal to make the right color for the scene or mixture of lasers to make the right mixture yeah. of colors. And um, let's see here. Oh, just that uh, pyramid shape. Like you can beam the energy out from refracting from those crystals from the lasers like I was saying, in kind of a cone pyramid shape principle. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, so you have pure yeah. white in the middle and then you have color sort of bleeding out from it so each pixel is very bright but it has color when it diffuses yeah, the through the matrix into the screen. The pixel that is all super yeah. like too bright white. like platinum And that's why you have the next yeah. layer of actual pixels exactly. to the screen. Then yeah. the, it's diffused out, yeah. So yeah, the cheaper ones would just have more crystals placed back and forth to achieve the effect manually instead of with as much you know energy yeah. and also like I said when I was talking about it before they'd also might have different colored crystals inherently to kinda I think ironically yeah. cheapen the process mm -hmm. with manufactured sapphires, rubies, emeralds and then you have you know uh, like the lasers just turn on and go through them but, and then that assists yeah with that method then you can just choose say if you wanna add 
Chintzy 3D, then the actual lasers can choose the fire differently in that yeah. case to make the 3D For cakey, yeah. actual colored 3D glasses yeah. that still have cut planes of light refraction. Yeah. Like how the dolphin poster has. Exactly, yeah. That'd be great. That'd yeah. be wonderful.